Hi Aries, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of October. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I'm introducing to the channel. Please do let me know how you like it. Uh, commenting, sharing, liking, all that great stuff. This, these are messages from your spirit guides. What does spirit need to tell you at this time for the month of October? So um, enjoy. And please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. Tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you so much to everyone for all your support. Really does mean a lot to me. Whether you tipped, donated, reached out for personal readings, or just a new subscriber. Thank you, thank you so much. All your support in helping the channel's growth, being part of the community, and being part of my energy is greatly, greatly appreciated. And getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And I love doing it for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Aries, what does spirit want to tell you? What do you need to know at this time? Spirit, these are your spirit guide messages for October. All the decks are listed below also, if you're interested in that. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. Can you believe Halloween already? Fall already, Never mind Halloween. Wow. Where's time going? Okay. We're going to get three from each Oracle deck, and I'll clarify with Tarot. All right. So they could be all random messages, or sometimes they um, overlap into one big, huge message. So I'm feeling those three are your cards. I'm going to pull all the cards first, and then we'll go over them, and then I'll pull some Tarot. All right, so Spirit, what does Aries need to know for October? And this could be directly coming from your Spirit Guides or through my Spirit Guides to you, telling you what you need to know for some Aries here. So only take the message that you messages that you feel like are for you, that resonate for you, and the ones that don't, you just don't take those. All right, so Aries, what message is Spirit for Aries? What does Aries need to know at this time? What do you want to tell Aries? It's way too many. For the month of October. Aries, for the month of October, Spirit, please. We need two more. One more for Aries. Spirit messages for Aries. I don't need that one. Okay. Let's get three of these. For Aries. What does Spirit want you to know at this time, Aries? What does Spirit want to tell Aries at this time? What do they need to know? Messages from your Spirit Guides. Messages from my Spirit Guides to you. Your Spirit Guides to my Spirit Guides to you. <laughs> However you get the messages, if you're not spiritual, you don't connect with your team, then they may connect with my team, and then I connect with you. So obviously if you're here, then there's messages you probably need to hear. All right, what do you need to tell Aries, Spirit? What are the messages for Aries? Spirit guide messages for Aries for the month of October. Need one more for Aries. Wow. Right, take that one. Okay. Let's see what we have here. So first card we have here is emotions, feelings, expression, moods, and balance. So this is associated to your um, base chakra, I believe. So, you know, they might be going through some emotional things in October. There may be a need to express yourself and find your balance. Uh, you may experience mood swings. Um may have a lot of feelings resurface about something that you may have to deal with. Also, you may feel just like maybe you're losing your mind, out of sorts, uh, very maybe confused, conflicted about some things, about, you know, resurfacing feelings, um, maybe even just being very moody. You know, maybe you just need to express yourself if you have to in a balanced way. Try not to lose your temper. Try not to fly off the handle. And then we have base chakra here again. So this is about your basis, your foundation. Could be something in your home life. Um, it's everything related to your structure, 
your foundation, your basis, so your home life, your work, your career, your family, your friends, everything that secures you and binds to you and ties you down and makes you a grounded person. So I don't know, maybe some emotional times here with either friends, family, something in your work environment here that I think you're going to have to really try to control yourself, control your temper. Um, all right, so let's see what this one is. Third eye chakra. So that is, you know, your forehead. So this is listening to your gut, your intuition, uh, your inner knowing, your higher knowing, being divinely connected to source, spirit, divine energy. Um, so this is really telling you to, you know, see everything for what it is, pay attention to everything around you, signs, symbols, me random messages that you get, even maybe your dreams, then maybe messages in your dreams. Um, just really paying attention to all those little synchronicities that you may not really uh, associate to anything. You may just like brush it off and it may be signs, symbols, things that you maybe need to pay attention to. Maybe telling you, try to tell, maybe trying to tell you um, something, something that you need to know and pay attention to. It could be something, again, in your home, your work, um, something emotional may be going on, or you may be feeling emotional, moody, um, out of balance, maybe dealing with resurfacing feelings, or something's maybe really emotional for you in October. It could be associated with something with your your family your close friends your home environment but whatever here just listen to your intuition uh see things for what they are all right so we have here live life to the fullest so this is being you know appreciative for everything in your life going out and just living life to the fullest taking advantage of opportunities uh Going out, having fun, experiencing new things, trying new things, just living life. Then we have retreat. So, and it may have to do with um, maybe you just need a vacation, you know, stay home, you know, stay vacation. What do they call it when you stay at home for your vacation? A stay vacation, staycation, or something like that? Maybe you just need a staycation. <laughs> And trust the divine plan. Exactly. So listen to your intuition. Listen to the signs, symbols, synchronicities, numbers you're seeing, messages you keep seeing, dreams, and everything going on around you. Pay attention to it all and trust the divine plan for you um, and just listening to your gut and intuition. All right. So, and if you've been kind of like in a hermit mode and not really doing much, this is telling you, Get out, live life, you know, have some fun, experience things. Uh, go do some things you haven't done in a very long time that maybe you miss. Maybe you've been in retreat mode, just kind of hanging out at home as with the base chakra for like way too long here. And maybe you're going stir crazy. <laughs> maybe you're going stir crazy just sitting at home. And it's time to get out and have some fun, do some things, travel, explore, get out and exercise, go join some social communities. Things of that nature. All right, let's see what we have here. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. So it's telling you here for October not to be afraid to communi communicate freely, express yourself, uh, truth, clarity, that sort of energy. I mean, not to be like a cold cutting person, but just be open, honest, and truthful, and um, that sort of energy. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself either. And we have being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe. And that's funny because we have trust the divine plan, listening to your intuition, and being in the flow of the divine universe. Wow. So I think the divine here is trying to show you something. The third eye chakra there, and you need to listen to it. And um, just trust in that and just be in the flow and trust the universe. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the last one is here. Accepting what is, I accept and embrace my inner majesty. So this is accepting who you are for everything that you are, um, knowing your value, your worth, and uh, just saying, you know, I am who I am, and that's it. Either you like it or you don't like it. This is sort of like empress energy, like you knowing your empress energy. You know, being in your power, male or female, emperor, empress, 
whoever's watching this could be male because we have a male right here or female you could be female with masculine energy all right so i'm just looking at the cards here um You may, like I said, you may be just sitting at home going stir crazy. And this is telling you to get out. And you maybe you just need to socialize or communicate freely here. Get out, do some new things, socialize with some people. With the base chakra here, maybe you've just been sitting at home. This is telling you, you know, just to go with the flow. Um, trusting in the universe. And accepting what is in the divine plane, third eye chakra. I, I just feel like for some of you, whatever's coming for you is meant to be. Just accept the plan. Just go with the flow. And some of you really need to appreciate yourself. Stand in your power. Know your value, your, your worth, your divine energy from within. And just be who you are. All right, so let's get some tarot. Spirit's really kicking ass with the messages today for you, Aries. So uh, whoever gets, whoever needs to hear these messages, I really hope you hear them. All right, so let's clap. Male or female, you know, sometimes I say empress, but it can be empress, emperor. It's just energy. All right, so, and I'm just noticing here you have 11 here, which is two, which is about unity, uh, people coming together, partnership, one here. Ones are all about new beginnings. Then you have 36 here, nine, which is coming to the end of a completion. If you add them together, you get nine, 10, 11, 12, which is 13, which is a social number. Threes are a social number. You know, groups of people coming together, uh, working together, teamwork. I think some of you just need to get out and socialize. <laughs> all right, so. Let's see, what is this uh, emotions about? I don't want to take anything until I ask. The Ace of Cups. So this is, you know, love, emotions, feelings. So you may get res resurgence here of a whole, whole new flood of emotions, feelings, moodiness, um, just like all of a sudden out of nowhere. And it might be like a flooding of all this energy. Maybe something you've been holding down inside for a very long time, all of a sudden something triggers it and you just kind of explode and then all this emotion comes out because this cup is overflowing here. And it may, you know, finally releasing that, healing that, you know, purging that, letting it all come out may bring you a sense of balance in the end, whatever that means for you. So that could be a separate message for some. And, and I think you'll have a whole new like renewal of yourself with the ace of cups there that's like a whole new uh energy you'll have like a whole renewal of yourself like a whole new peace tranquility harmony from within because you've purged that energy maybe you've been holding in for a very long time for some of you all right so live life to the fullest what is that about the four swords yeah i think like i said you've been kind of hanging out at home just retreating and just kind of like being stagnant here with the four swords energy and this is telling you definitely get out live life to the fullest you know um no more of this energy just kind of hanging back and just kind of thinking contemplating going crazy in your head all right so let's see communicate freely i communicate from the depths of my beings let's see what is that about Three of Cups. And again, I had said getting out and socializing. And this is Three of Cups, socializing energy. Having a good time, reuniting, uh, rejoicing, celebrating here. And socializing, socializing with friends, family, co-workers. Just going out, having a good time. All right, so let's see. What is this base chakra about? What is this base chakra about for Aries? Seven of Swords. So, huh, this is a you know an energy of like kind of sneaking away from something. Um, can speak of deceit and trickery, lies. Uh, you know, untrusted energy, kind of sneaking away, getting away with something. Somebody may be trying to get away with something, 
in your home environment in some way, shape, or form, either maybe even at work, uh, in your home, maybe friends, family, trying in. I think that's a third eye, third eye chakra. You should probably need to pay attention, more attention to those around you because somebody may be trying to pull the wool over your eyes or maybe trying to um, get away with something and they probably think you're not going to notice, you're not going to know, you're not going to care. Someone may be sneaky around you, so pay attention to those around you. Again, something in your basis foundation. So again, it can be your work, your home, trusted friends and family that are very close to you. Somewhere, somewhere in there, someone's being a little tricky. All right. So what is this retreat about? What is this retreat about? Two of Cups. So again, you know, this is unity, partnership. So um, I feel like if you haven't been, you know, coming together with friends, family, or co-workers are just getting out and socializing again because you've got the two and the three of cups. Um, you know, two of cups does talk about soulmates coming together, that kind of energy, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be partnership coming together with a very good close friend, a family member, or something like that. So, you know, maybe you've just been hanging out with your spouse and that's the only one you've been kind of hanging out with. Or maybe some of you actually do need to get away with your partner on a retreat. Maybe it's something that's long overdue here. And maybe you feel like you just need to sneak away, that like you've, you know, you need some time alone between of you, between the two of you, as with the home chakra, so it could be your spouse and needing feeling like you just need to sneak away from the world and retreat together. So different messages, you take whatever resonates for you. Alright, so what is this being in the flow? What is the being in the flow? What is the being in the flow? The Five of Pentacles. So this is a fear of ab abandonment, loneliness, neglect. It's also monetary fear, worry about monetary uh, loss. So if you have fear over your finances or something like that, this is just tell you uh, to go with the flow and you may have all of a sudden a flow of um, abundance come in that's unexpected and just to trust in that. Because there's a divine plan here, so you may get un you may get a raise, you may get. But I think you have fear of monetary loss here. But just know the universe has your back, so just kind of go with the flow. The universe will bring in something for you that um, will help you when you need it. So just trust in that. May be hard to do. So what is this third eye chakra about for you, Aries? What is this third eye chakra? About for Aries spirit, please. Communication. So, communication, travel, movement, moving. So, like I had said, communication here that I thought divine, your spirit, your angel guides were trying to communicate with you. And here is communication. So, that's your spirit telling me here. They're trying to communicate with you in some way. Again, whether it's signs, symbols, um, anything here. I mean, it can be anything you keep seeing, hearing, thinking over and over and over and wondering why it's, I feel, um, your spirit angel team, passed over loved ones, ancestors, all that divine energy trying to communicate with you for some reason about something. Only you know what that is. Um, if you've been praying to them, asking for help, signs, symbols, but you're not really paying attention, third eye there is telling you to really pay attention that it's probably right there and you're not seeing it so trust in the divine plan so here is something coming in for you that's divine meant to be brand new beginning something very exciting um could be a new career opportunity could be a new endeavor project something here you'll be very excited about passionate about happy about excited um energy so divinely Trust in the divine plan that divine has something for you that you're not seeing yet. So you got two aces here, the ace of cups and the ace of wands. And the ace of wands is your energy. That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Very Aries. So what is accepting what is? What is accepting what is? I accept and embrace my inner. Well, I just want one. 
my inner majesty. What is that about for Aries? Can we have one card there for Aries spirit? Please, thank you so much for Aries. The seven of wands. So again, this is about standing up for yourself. You know, embrace your inner majesty. This is, you know, being defensive on guard, but it's also standing up for yourself, who you are, what you believe in, um, and not backing down and just being that fiery person. So accept what is, accept yourself and just stand up for yourself. And then we have healing here. So healing energy here, something divinely guided for you that may be coming in, wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. And healing energy all right uh, Aries if you did like this please do like share subscribe comment and hit the bell you'll be notified like I said when I post new readings I do four different types of readings a month so don't miss out on that good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel to always always shine your light